how I feel about moving into a new apartment or how I feel about moving away from the parents. To say the least, I am, I am nervous, 100%. Oh boy. <clears throat> 70 episodes in, we're not far away from the 100th. You know, I don't want to make the video too moody, but one of the saddest things um, about my job with dealing with dogs and that kind of stuff is hearing like that a dog that comes to your place so often hearing a call or hearing an email message whatever from them or from the parents saying uh that their dog has passed away it's a lot worse when it's a young dog too and it's not like a dog that that's old you know what i mean of course it's so sad that like a dog dies and you know no matter what a dog dying is sad no matter what but i feel like it just to me it hurts more that a dog so young is gone you know and that's what happened today we got a message from a parent or i think a call whatever that they're that they're not here anymore and it's like damn it's not a fun thing to hear about either way mood time sadness over let's go get ready for work right now look at her eyes though see your eyes one of the prettiest dogs we have here 100 brody no problem I'll cheer somewhere oh, hi odin boys currently watching some monday night raw right now uh, on the phone cody just did his bit with uh with the rock uh, the rock came in and just pretty much said nothing and then cm punk uh drew mcintyre and seth rollins had their like little thing as well what i saw was interesting um when diy and new day had this little bit that they had and um uh, awesome truth as well drew mcintyre was talking to paul Heyman in the background hmm all right anyway moving on to the other stuff here the more important stuff so, so if you guys didn't know i am actually moving um i'm moving like really soon when i say soon i'm talking th this week um, moving into a new apartment, starting this whole new adventure pretty much of seeing what life is like outside of outside of just living with the parents. Gonna be experiencing new things, gonna be exper experiencing new responsibilities, all that kind of stuff. Ready to take on the challenge, ready to become a bit more of a man, you know what I mean? I would be on a bit of a rush right now if I, uh, if I was moving tomorrow. The original move-in date was supposed to be tomorrow. But the weather is kind of a bit wonky right now. Weather's really unpredictable. It's snowing out there, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, the move-in day is gonna be on Thursday. Tomorrow's just gonna be chill. I figured that I sh I'm gonna get back into the grind um, when it comes to training, boxing, that kind of stuff next week. Or I'll probably just show up on Wednesday anyway, but I wanted to take this week to kind of actually spend time with family and you know just kind of hang out with them more because I probably won't have as much time to hang out with them when I do move out. Depending on how everything goes with this whole thing, there's a chance that I might stay out forever or might come back here for a bit. Who knows? That'll be something that I'll figure out eventually. Could be moving in with someone different, could be moving in with myself. Also a possibility that I move back here, except it's gonna be downstairs. Lots of different things that could happen, but I gotta figure out what to move in for the first day because did Riley pee on the freaking carpet? Oh my god, bro. Thursday, like I said, is moving day, but I'm not gonna be moving in everything because otherwise that would, that would make no sense. It's not like it wouldn't make any sense, but I just wouldn't have time. You know what I mean? Maybe on Thursday, I'll try to move in as much as I can. I'll still be sleeping here for a little bit and hopefully by next week, Monday, I should be in there full time. All right, we're gonna get to the part that's a little interesting. I didn't think that this was gonna be the title of the video. I just kind of thought of it like last like just now how i feel about moving in how i feel about moving into a new apartment or how i feel about moving away from the parents to say the least i am I'm, i am nervous 100 percent. this is something that i've never you know never experienced before i guess i have experienced this before by moving into the the dorm but this is completely different the nice thing is, is that um i'm not too far away from the parents but as i mentioned i'm nervous man huge difference between uh the dorm and this is that dorm I didn't really have much privacy because because me and Chris were in the same room. So I was more keen to like going home and stuff. But this time I get my own room. So it's like, you know, it's going to be different. But I think I'll still go home, you know, a couple times a week. But, you know, over time, it'll probably be less and less. But I do want to still, you know, come here like once a week. I still have to pick up my mom to go to work. So I'll, I'll still, I'll still, you know, see this place a lot and see the dog, see the family. But like for the most part, you know, 
I'm on my own. How am I gonna be mentally and how am I gonna handle this big change? I've mentioned before that, you know, this hasn't been like the best beginning of the year for me and having this apartment could either work really well or really bad. I have high hopes that it's gonna work really well and, you know, I'm gonna turn into a completely different person by you know, having my own responsibilities, blah, 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 blah. I just hope everything works out, I guess. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. And like I said, you know, I'm not far away, so it's just like... Nice camera just fell. I can come back here any times, but it's like it's a whole nother change, you know what I mean? Thursday will be a nice little move-in day. Uh, get some content out of that, too, of course. I guess one mistake that I made with the moving into a dorm. I mentioned that during my dorm time, I went to, uh, I, I came back home, like, a lot. And when I say a lot, like, a lot, like, I pretty much slept here most of the times. Moving out is, as I mentioned, it's, like, something to experience, like, by yourself and, you know, learn responsibilities. And I didn't really get that, uh, moving into a dorm because being at home most of the time, you don't get to experience life outside of away from the parents. My goal this time is to not be at home a lot. I want to try to actually face this head on. I think we'll be okay, but there definitely will be some, some hurdles and speed bumps that we gotta get over. I guess what I'm mostly worried about is financials. Working at the daycare, I do get like a, a good amount of money, but what's also a lot of money is the bills. I know for a fact that we'll have to like DoorDash a good amount of the times here because um, to make up for, or to just have money to, to use, to have money to just live more comfortably and get myself off the ground a little bit. I think I talked about this a while ago, but the aim is gonna be like, I'm gonna try to get like $100 a week. That'll get me enough to have comfortable money, you know what I mean? If I literally spent no money, right, my monthly wage would cover literally everything that I need and more. But I've always been used to having a lot of free money, I guess, you know what I mean? And that's because I didn't really have any bills living here. But this time, I'm gonna have bills. That's kind of mostly what I'm worried about. Now, this whole time I've been kind of talking negatively about this whole plan. I do think this is gonna be a positive change and I do want to do this. Otherwise, I wouldn't have started searching for apartments. I guess in this case, it's good to prepare for the worst but um hope for the best or i guess acknowledging the worst because if you don't acknowledge the worst man and you and you do encounter the worst ggs <laughs> you know what i mean i think i have a couple of ideas of what i want to move in first i think the last one that i'm going to move in is the bed 100 percent are going to be the desk and the bed especially it's going to be a little tougher because uh, apparently this weekend there's a possible chance of another snowstorm yippee starting off with a challenge already boys either way I've been rambling on for a while now, let's move on to the next part. So I've been honestly getting better at like, just getting it down more. Let me go through the basics for y'all. C minor, D minor, E minor. Alright, we'll skip the F minor for now. A minor. And then I did the B minor earlier, so... There's your B minor. Savory Tears time. My E minor to G is getting quicker. I'm kind of just working on that and just kind of rep reps, you know what I mean? Just C, A minor, E minor, and then now I actually don't have to look at those first the, the first three chords. Yeah, just progressing, you know what I mean? Getting better. We got a nice dinner planned here to end the night off. We got some pizza. Not just any pizza, Papa Murphy's pizza. After this, which I'm gonna be insanely full after this because I already had dinner, the protein shake. I wonder how many times I've said that in this series. Hope you guys have a nice meal as well. Y'all better eat. Eat, drink some water, eat your vitamins. Tomorrow's gonna be pretty much sitting at home all day, depending on this whole weather stuff. So, by the way, y'all have a good night. Peace.